Who is Burlecker and how did he become famous? My name is Financial Man. Please like and subscribe. Enjoy the video. His passion began with his dad. He was a car guy when Nick grew up and passed the car virus to Nick when he was pretty young. He was in the seventh grade when his dad bought a Mach 1 Ford Mustang. He recalls being at school, not knowing he had bought it and getting picked up in it. He thought it was so cool. Most kids didn't care, but to him, it was one of the best moments ever. That moment stuck with Nick. He recognized that most people don't care about cars, but that experience was special. Growing up, Nick's dream was to have as many Mustangs as he could buy. But he admits the drive for more cars was at time counter to the financial axioms he's tied to live by. He says he's conservative by nature, so he wasn't sure how he was going to justify having a collection, especially with other priorities and things to invest in. You have to pick and choose what you're going to spend your time on as you get older, Nick said. When James got me into YouTube, I was able to spend time on things that were fun to me and start to justify expanding my core passion. Getting into YouTube was a foreign experience for Nick. He knew what YouTube was, but he didn't know who anyone who did YouTube except for his friend James. While he was working for him, the Stradman showed him some of his videos that went viral and he just couldn't believe it was possible. A few months later, layoffs were made at an accounting firm on April the 1st, 2016 and the Stradman was amongst them. Little did they know that day would change the trajectory of their lives forever. Instead of seeking another 9 to 5 job, James told him he'd be going all in on YouTube. Nick offered him a place to stay at his house while he got his feet on at the ground. At the time, James had 80,000 subscribers. Today, he has over 3 million. As James's channel grew, he encouraged Nick to join in in the YouTube fun. Another year went by and at the persuasions of Nick's wife and James, Nick relented and took the plunge. He spent the first year figuring out what kind of videos he wanted to make. Cars were his friend's threads thing. So he wanted to make sure he was doing his own thing. He tried his hand at accounting videos and travel videos, but nothing was really clicking. He made a car video and it was fun. He thought, why not do car videos? It is what I like, I'm interested in, so why not do them as well? Now, nearly 300,000 subscribers later, that natural interest has worked out and he hasn't looked back. With the fame of popular YouTube channels, changes to one's life should be expected even if the changes aren't what you expect. For Nick, differences have been largely positive, shaping his modus operandi. Aside from buying cars he never thought he would, meeting people he'd never think he would meet, and traveling to places he never thought he would go, Nick has learned some valuable lessons from his time in the YouTube spotlight. The biggest change in my day-to-day -day life has been realizing that I'm impacting people's day, he says. Whenever someone recognizes me and says, hi, I'm a fan, it reminds him about the influence of what he's doing and the effect it has on people. If you watch Nick's channel, you'll notice that his content is good, clean, positive and family friendly. There is enough negativity in this world. Everything he does, everything I do, I want to be an influence for good, he said. While Nick admits that there is stupid money to be made on YouTube, you have to be motivated by something more than money to make a lasting impact in the world. Motivated to add positivity to the world, Nick has found a lot of joy in producing content that brings happiness and funds his car projects. I wouldn't do this if there wasn't money to be made, but money is not what brings happiness. It's those impacts that you ha have that make a difference. Two years ago, when his channel was much smaller, Nick had an experience on his channel that would shape his life forever. He recalls, I had just bought the Shelby GT350 and I made a joke in one of my videos that if anyone wanted to learn how to drive the stick in the Shelby, let me know in the comments. A local kid commented, we connected and he turned out to be a great guy, so I taught him how to drive stick. Seeing his reaction to meeting me and driving my car was something I'll never forget. You don't become a famous automotive YouTuber without a few awesome cars. And Nick's collection is just that. He currently has a 2014 purple plaid Ford Raptor, a 2018 Ford Mustang Shelby GT350, a 1968 Ford Mustang he bought together with his dad, a 2001 Dodge Viper, a smart car and much more in the future. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe.